second tutorial for mathematics, reading, and science. We will now show you how to navigate through the test and use the tools available. Use the buttons on the navigation bar at the bottom of the screen to move through the test. Click the back button to go to the previous screen. Click the next button to go to the next screen. Some questions will not fit on the screen. You may need to scroll vertically, horizontally, or both to see the entire question. Use the strike through tool to cross out multiple choice answer options you think are not correct. To use this tool, right click the answer option you want to cross out, then select strike through. If you are using a Mac, right click or use control click to access the tools. The steps demonstrated here for control click will be the same as the steps used for other tools in the tutorial, but will not be shown on every screen. To remove the strike through, right click the answer option and then click undo strike through. To highlight text, use the highlighter tool. Place the cursor by the start of the text you want to highlight. Click and drag the cursor to the end of the text you want to highlight. Then right-click the selected text and select Highlight Selection. Text in pictures and graphics cannot be highlighted. To remove highlighting, right-click anywhere on the highlighting and select Reset Highlighting. If you reset the highlighting, all highlighting will be removed. To make the text and graphics larger, use the Zoom In tool on each item as needed. Four levels of zoom are available. Click the Zoom In button until you have reached the level of zoom you want. To undo, click the Zoom Out button until you're back to the level you want. You may return to a question later to review or change your answer. There are two ways to mark a question for review. One way is to click the Mark for a Review item flag on the top right of the question. You can also right-click the question and select Mark for Review. To see which questions you have marked for review, click the Past Marked Questions drop-down menu. It will show you all the questions you have completed and whether any have been marked for review. Click the question number you would like to go back to. After you have reviewed a question you have marked, click the Mark for Review item flag again and the question will no longer be marked for review. Or, right-click the question and select Unmark Review Item. If you need help with the tool or navigation, click the Help button at the top of the page. To close Help, click the X in the upper right. Now you will learn more about your science test. When you begin the science test, you will see a title page. The title page has a box with the title of the scenario. A scenario is a group of scenes and questions that have a common theme. Next you will see a split screen showing the science scene and the questions. The science scene is shown on the left side of the screen, and the questions and answer options are shown on the right side of the screen. You may need to scroll down to see more of the scene or to answer all the questions. To see more of the scene, Click the Expand button at the top of the scene. To undo, click the Expand button again. Use the text-to-speech tool to listen to just the scene, question, or an answer option, or both the question and answer options. Right-click the scene, question, or an answer option and choose one of the speak options. For some answer options, you will only hear A, B, C, D, read aloud. For other answer options, you will hear the entire answer option read aloud. 
which step should the farmer take to prevent too much fertilizer from going into the stream or lake? If you would like a specific selection spoken, highlight that selection, right-click, and choose Speak Selection. Which step should the farmer take to prevent? After the text-to-speech audio starts playing, you can pause or stop it by right-clicking and choosing either Pause Speaking or Stop Speaking. Which step should the farmer take? If you pause the text-to-speech audio, you can right-click and select Resume Speaking to resume the audio. To prevent too much fertilizer from going into the stream or lake. You may need to use the calculator for some items. The calculator button will be available on the navigation bar if it is needed for any questions. To open the calculator, click the calculator button. The calculator will appear. To move the calculator on the screen, click the top of the calculator and drag it to where you want to move it. Use your mouse to click the buttons on the calculator. You can also use the keyboard. To close the calculator, click the X in the upper right or click the calculator button on the navigation bar. Some questions will have animation with audio that will automatically play. To pause the animation with audio, click the pause button. To replay the animation, drag the bar back at any point and click play. Or, click the play button after the animation has ended. The class is going to find out what the salt does to the ice. They will collect water from two melting ice cubes. Students put two identical ice cubes into two funnels. Salt is sprinkled on one of the ice cubes. Both ice cubes melt for five minutes. The water collects in two beakers. Now you will learn more about the types of questions on the test. There are two ways to answer a multiple choice question. Click anywhere on the answer, or click the circle with A, B, C, or D. For some questions, you will move objects to different places on the screen. Click the object you want to move and drag it to the place you want to move it. Do not move an object on top of another object. To change your answer, click what you would like to change and drag it back. Then, select and move a new object. You can move the objects as many times as you need. For some questions, you can use the same object more than once to answer the question. Click the object you want to move and drag it to the place you want to move it. To change or remove your answer for these questions, click the Delete button. Then, select the object you would like to delete. Drag a new object to answer the question. For some questions, you will need to complete a bar graph. Click the bar graph where the top of each bar should be. To change your answer, click another point on the graph to move the bar. For some questions, you will need to plot points on a graph. Use the Add Point tool to plot points on a graph. To change your answer, click the Delete button and use your cursor to delete the points. Then plot the new points on the graph. For some questions, you will click an object to mark your answer. There may be more than one answer. Click all the objects that answer the question. To change your answer, click the object to remove that answer. Then click a new object. For some questions, you must fill in an answer. There are two ways to answer these questions. 
You can use the keypad on the screen or type your answer in the box using your keyboard. If you use your keyboard, you can only type the characters that are on the on-screen keypad. To change or remove your answer, click the delete button on the keypad and then enter your new answer. You can also click in the answer box with your cursor and use the backspace key on your keyboard to change or delete your answer. Then enter your new answer. Some scenes are simulations which allow you to perform experiments. You can choose variables or options using drop-down menus and buttons. You may run the simulation as many times as you want. To answer some questions, you may need to use the results and information from the simulation. When working with tables, you can delete the information in a single row by using the trash can. You can delete all of the information in a table by clicking the Clear All Rows button. Some questions will have a Save button. After you answer the question, you can click the Save button. If you do not click the Save button, the test will still automatically save your responses. You must answer all questions on a page before you can click Next to go to the next scenario. If you have not answered all questions, a message will appear. Click OK to close the message. Then answer the questions. Before you pause the test, you should answer all questions for a scenario. You will know you are at the end of a scenario when you get to a title page for the next scenario. To pause your test, click the pause button. When you click the pause button, a message will appear asking if you are sure you would like to pause the test. If you pause for more than 20 minutes, you will be unable to make changes to pages you have already completed. Click the button to continue to the end of the tutorial. To learn more about another test, click the Back to Subject Selection button